Welcome back to Bible Quizzes. Today's quiz is going to be about prophets and their messages. Let's get started. 1. A prophet used to be known as a seer. 1 Samuel 9 9. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, thus he spake, Come and let us go to the seer, for he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. 2. Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal to showdown on Mount Carmel. 1 Kings 18.21 And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. 3. Daniel had a vision of a wheel within a wheel. 116 the appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of barrel and they four had one likeness and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel Four. Zechariah saw a vision of a man with a measuring line in his hand measuring Jerusalem True. Zechariah 2, 1 through 2. I lifted up mine eyes again, and looked, and behold a man with a measuring line in his hand. Then said I, Whither goest thou? And he said unto me, To measure Jerusalem, to see what is the breadth thereof, and what is the length thereof. 5. Nahum saw a vision of a basket of summer fruit, signifying the end of Israel. False. Amos 8 2. And he said, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, A basket of summer fruit. Then said the Lord unto me, The end is come upon my people of Israel. I will not again pass by them any more. 6. Amos rebuked Israel for injustice and warned of the day of the Lord. True. Amos 5 12. For I know you meant. Your manifold transgressions and your mighty sins, they afflict the just, they take a bribe, and they return aside the poor in the gate from their right. 7. Hosea spoke God's message to the exiles in Babylon and foretold Jerusalem's destruction and restoration. False. Ezekiel 11.16 Therefore say, Thus saith the Lord, God, although I have cast them far from among, far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. 8. Jeremiah was ordained as a prophet from his mother's womb. True. Jeremiah 1 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. 9. Nahum received a vision of the burden of Nineveh. True. Nahum 1 1. The burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum the Elkishite. 10. Zechariah was commanded by God to eat a scroll of prophecy. False. Ezekiel 2, 8-9. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that, rebellious house. Open thy mouth, and eat that I give thee. And when I looked, behold, an hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. 11. Isaiah said they beat their swords into pruning hooks.
false. Isaiah 2, 4, And he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. 12. Zephaniah prophesied the day of the Lord's coming for judgment. 2. Zephaniah 1, 14, 15. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man, shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. 13. Habakkuk questioned God of his apparent silence in times of distress. 2. Habakkuk 1 2. O Lord, how long shall I cry, and thou wilt not hear? Even cry out unto thee of violence, and thou wilt not save. 14. God's plan for his people is to give a certain end. 29 11 for I know the thoughts that I think toward you saith the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end 15 Obadiah warns that the day of the Lord is far from for all the nations 115 1 15, for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, and as thou hast done, it shall be done to thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. 16. The Obadiah's vision comes from Moses. 12. Obadiah 1 1, the vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord God. 17. Micah emphasizes that the Lord requires you to just to do justly. 18. True. Micah 6 8. He hath shewed thee, O man, what is good, and what doth the Lord require of thee but to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. 18. Cedar tree is shaken terribly in Nahum. 23 the shield of his mighty men is made red the valiant men are in scarlet the chariots shall be with flaming torches in the day of his preparation and the fir trees shall be terribly shaken 19 god's mercy is a central theme of jonah's story True. Jonah 3.10 And God saw their works that they turned from their evil way, and God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. 20. Cleopas and others called Jesus a prophet before he revealed his resurrection. 2419 and he Jesus said unto them what things and they said unto him concerning Jesus of Nazareth which was a prophet mighty indeed and word before God and all the people 21 which prophet was told by God to shave his head and beard and divide the hair into three parts Ezekiel Jeremiah Isaiah or Habakkuk Ezekiel, Ezekiel 5.1, And thou, Ezekiel, son of man, take thee a sharp knife, take thee a barber's razor, and cause it to pass upon thine head and upon thy beard. Then take th thee balances to weigh and divide the hair. 22. Who was instructed by God to walk round naked and barefoot for three years as a sign of the impending judgment on Egypt and Ethiopia? Amos, Nahum, Zephaniah, or Isaiah? 
Isaiah, Isaiah 22-3 At the same time spake the Lord by Isaiah the son of Amos, saying, Go and loose the sackcloth from off thy loins, and put off thy shoe from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. And the Lord said, Like as my servant Isaiah hath walked naked and barefoot three years for a sign and wonder upon Egypt and upon Ethiopia. 23. Which prophet was called to have a wife of whoredoms as a symbol of God's relationship with Israel? Amos, Joel, Hosea, or Obadiah? Hosea, Hosea 1-2, the beginning of the word of the Lord by Hosea, and the Lord said to Hosea, Go take unto thee a wife of whoredoms and children of whoredoms, for the land hath committed great whoredom, departing from the Lord. 24. Who saw the Lord sitting on a throne with seraphim calling out, Holy, 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 Micah, Isaiah, Nahum, or Habakkuk? Isaiah, Isaiah 6, 1-3 In the year that King Isaiah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne. Above it stood the seraphims, and one cried unto another, and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, and the whole earth is full of his glory. 25. Which prophet dwelt by the brook of Cherith, and was given food and water by ravens during a drought? Elisha, Amos, Jeremiah, or Elijah? Elijah, 1 Kings 17, 5-6. So he, Elijah, went and did according unto the word of the Lord, for he went and dwelt by the brook Cherit, that is before Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. 26. In which book of the Bible is Abraham first mentioned as a prophet? Exodus, Genesis, Psalms, or Hebrews? Genesis. Genesis 27. Now therefore restore the man Abraham, his wife Sarah, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, know thou that thou shalt surely die, thou and all that are thine. 27. He fled to... Oh, sorry. 27. What role did Abraham play in interceding for the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah before their destruction? He fled to Zor, he fought Lot, he cried, or he pleaded God. He pleaded God to God. Genesis 18, 23, 32. And Abraham drew near and said, Wilt thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? And he said, O oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak yet but this once. Peradventure ten shall be found there, and he said, I will not destroy it for ten's sake. 28. What was the name of Anna's father? Barak, Phanuel, Zebulun, or Asher? Phanuel. Luke 2.36 And there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Azur. She was of a great age and had lived with an husband seven years from her virginity. 29. What did Anna do after she saw baby Jesus? Went home quietly, spoke about him to others, kept the experience to herself, or knowledgeable? spoke about him to others. Luke 2.38 And she coming in that instant gave thanks to likewise unto the Lord, and spoke spake of him, Jesus, to all them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. 30. Who did God promise that a descendant of his would sit on the throne? Abraham, Jacob, Isaac, or David? David, Acts 2, 29, 30. 
Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulcher is with us unto this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him, that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. 31. What did Elisha throw in the water to make it clean? Salt in a new cruise? A piece of bread? A gold coin? Or a piece of wood? 2 Kings 2.19-20 And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of the city is pleasant, as my lord seeth, but the water is not, and the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new cruise, and put salt therein. And they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters, and cast the salt in there, and said, Thus saith the Lord, I have healed these waters, there shall not be from thence any more death on or barren land. 32. What was Elisha doing before following Elijah? Preaching in a city, fishing by the river, plying with twelve yoke of oxen, or sitting under a fig tree? 12 yoke of oxen. 1 Kings 19, 19 21. So he departed thence and found Elisha the son of Shaphat, who was plying with 12 yoke of oxen before him. And he with the 12 and Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him. And then he arose and went after Elijah and ministered unto him. 33. What did Elisha promise the Shunammite woman would conceive a son? In a few years, in a different season, about this season, or in two years. 2 Kings 4, 16, 17 And he said, About this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt embrace a son. And she, Shunammite woman, said, Nay, my lord, thou man of God, do not lie unto thine handmaid. And the woman conceived and bare a son at that season that Elisha had said unto her, according to the time of life. 34. Where did Deborah dwell? Under the willow tree? Under the palm tree? Under the oak tree? Or under the fig tree? 4, 4-5. And Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidus, she judged Israel at that time, and she dwelt under the palm tree of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel and Mount Ephraim, and the children of Israel came up to her for her judgment. 35. Who instructed David to leave Moab and go to Judah? Joab, Gad, Samuel, or Abiathar? 1 Samuel 22 5 And the prophet Gad said unto David, Abide not in the hold, depart and get thee into the land of Judah. Then David departed and came to the forest of Hereth. 36 What message did the prophet Isaiah receive from the Lord to deliver when King Hezekiah was sick? Leave this place, prepare for battle, set thine house in order, or flee to Egypt. 2 Kings 21 In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and the prophet Isaiah the son of Amos came to him, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. 37 According to Jonah, how long did Nineveh have until its destruction? 30 days, 40 days, 45, or 50 days? 40 days. Jonah 3 4. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey, and he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown.
38. What did Habakkuk see and cry for it? Peace, evil deeds, injustice, or violence? Violence. Habakkuk 1, 1 through 3. The burden which Habakkuk the prophet did see, O Lord, how long shall I cry, and thou wilt not hear, even cry out unto thee of violence, and thou wilt not save? Why dost thou shew me iniquity, and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me, and there are that raise up strife and contention. 39. Which prophet saw a vision of a throne with a fiery rainbow surrounding it? Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, or Daniel? Ezekiel, Ezekiel 1, 26 to 27, and above the firmament was over their heads was the likeness of a throne, and I saw as the color of amber as the appearance of fire round about within it, from the appearance of his loins even upward, and from the appearance of his loins even downward, I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and it had brightness round about. 40. Which prophet saw a vision of fig tree symbolic of God's judgment on Judah? Jeremiah, Hosea, Obadiah, or Jonah? Jeremiah, Jeremiah 24, 8. And as the evil figs which cannot be eaten, they are so evil. Surely thus saith the Lord, so will I give Zedekiah the king of Judah and his princes, and the residue of Jerusalem that remain in this land, and them that dwell in the land of Egypt. 41. Which prophet had a vision of a flying roll? Jonah, Hosea, Malachi, or Zechariah? Zechariah. Zechariah 5.1. Then I, Zechariah, turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. 42. Which prophet sat under a broom tree and wished to die because of Jezebel's threats? Elisha, Elijah, Habakkuk, or Job? Elijah. 1 Kings 19.4 But he, Elijah, himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree, and he requested for himself that he might die, and said, It is enough. Now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. 43. Which prophet saw a vision of a boiling pot tilting away from the north? Ezekiel, Isaiah, Jeremiah, or Daniel? Jeremiah, Jeremiah 1, 13 to 14, and the word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, What seest thou? And I said, I see a seething pot, and the face thereof is toward the north. Then the Lord said unto me, Out of the north an evil shall break forth upon all the inhabitants of the land. 44. Which prophet was instructed by God to lie on his left side for 390 days to bear the iniquity of Israel? Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, or Hosea? Ezekiel, Ezekiel 4, 4 through 5. Lie thou also upon thy left side, and lay the iniquity of the house of Israel upon it, according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon it, thou shalt bear their iniquity three hundred and ninety days, so shalt thou bear the iniquity of the house of Israel. 45. Which prophet saw a vision of four chariots coming out from between the two mountains of brass? Zechariah, Amos, Haggai, or Micah? Zechariah, Zechariah 6.1, And I turned and lifted up mine eyes, and looked, and behold, there came four chariots out from between two mount mountains, and the mountains were mountains of brass. 46. Which prophet was instructed by God to get a linen loincloth, wear it, and then hide it to Euphrates? Hosea, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, or Micah?
Jeremiah, Jeremiah 13, 4. Take the girdle that thou hast got, which is upon thy loins, and arise. Go to Euphrates, and hide it there in a hole of the rock. 47. Which prophet declared, Woe to them that are ease in Zion, and trust in the mountain of Samaria? Hosea, Amos, Micah, or Joel? Amos, Amos 6.1, Woe to them that are at ease in Zion, and trust in the mountains of Samaria, which are named the chief of the nations to whom the house of Israel came. 48. Who saw a chariot and horses of fire separating him from Elijah and as he was taken up into heaven? Ahab, Elisha, Jezebel, or Eli? Elisha, 2 Kings 2, 11 through 12 And it came to pass as they still went on and talked that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven, and Elisha saw it. 49. Which prophet was made mute until the birth of his son John? Zacharias, Simeon, Nicodemus, or Annas? Zacharias, Luke 1.20, And behold, thou, Zacharias, shalt be dumb and not able to speak, until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not by, not my Gabriel words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. 50. Who is persistent in his intercession for Israelites, even offering to be bottled out of God's book for their sake? Isaiah, Habakkuk, Samuel, or Moses? Moses, Exodus 32, 31, and 32. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin and have made them gods of gold. Yet now, if thou wilt forgive their sin, and if not, blot me, I pray thee, out of thy book which thou hast written. Do one, which prophet was known for his visions of a son is given referring to Jesus, Joel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, or Ezekiel? Isaiah, Isaiah 9, 6, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. 52. Which prophet had his lips touched by a seraphim holding a live coal? Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, or Joel? Isaiah, Isaiah 6.6, 6. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. 53. Which prophet experienced a miraculous multiplication of oil for a woman and her son? Elijah, Elisha, Obadiah, or Jonah? Elisha. 2 Kings 4, 6-7, And it came to pass, when the vessels were full, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. Then she came and told the man of God, and he, Elisha, said, Go, sell the oil, and pay thy debt, and live thou and thy children of the rest. 54. Which prophet was a contemporary of Amos and prophesied to the northern kingdom of Israel? Amos, Jonah, Hosea, or Micah? Hosea, Hosea 1.1, 1, 1, the word of the Lord that came unto Hosea, the son of Beeri, in the days of Uzziah. Amos 1.1, 1, 1, the words of Amos, who was among the herdmen of Tekoa, which he saw concerning Israel in the days of Uzziah. 55. In Nahum's prophecy, what is the uncleanliness mentioned alongside Nineveh's idolatry? Murder, theft, deceit, or whoredom? Oh, 
Whoredom. Nahum 3.4 Because of the multitude of whoredoms the, of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts, that selleth nations through her whoredoms, and families through her witchcrafts. 56 Which prophet delivered a message of comfort to hope and hope to Judah in the aftermath of the fall of Nineveh? Zephaniah, Joel, Obadiah, or Habakkuk? Zephaniah. Zephaniah 3, 14-15. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away thy judgments. He hath cast out thine enemy. The King of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil any more. 57. Who are the rulers of Judah mentioned in the book of Micah as his contemporaries? Solomon and Rehoboam? Jotham Ahaz Hezekiah? Jeroboam Ahab or Uzziah Jehoiakim? Jotham Ahaz Hezekiah. Micah 1 1. The word of the Lord that came to Micah the Morishthite in the days of Jotham Ahaz and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, which he saw concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. What substance did Moses' mother use to make the ark water resistant? Reed leaves, bitumen tar, slime and pitch, or epoxy? Slime and pitch. Exodus 2.3 And she took for him an ark of bulrushes, and daubed it with slime and with pitch, and put the child therein, and she laid it in the flags by the river's brink. 59. What name does God reveal to Moses in Exodus 3? The Almighty, God of Abraham, Lord God Almighty, or I am that I am. I am that I am. Exodus 3.14 And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. 60. What did God announce in Jeremiah 25.15 that he would make all the nations drink from a cup of prosperity, fury, love, or life? Fury. Jeremiah 25 15. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel unto me, Take the wine cup of this fury at my hand, and cause all the nations to whom I send thee to drink it. Sixty one. Who had a vision of a valley of dry bones, which God brought to life by his spirit? Ezekiel, Ezekiel 37, 1, 5. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. 62. Who is a prophet often called the weeping prophet? Jeremiah, Jeremiah 9.1 Oh, that my head were waters, and mine eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. 63. Who was visited by a chariot of fire and taken up to heaven in a whirlwind? Elijah. 2 Kings 2.11 And it came to pass, as they still went on, and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. 64. Who was swallowed by a great fish for three days and three nights? Jonah. Jonah 1.17. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. 65. What book reveals God promising Abraham the land of Canaan as an inheritance?
Genesis, Genesis 17, 8, And I, God, will give unto thee Abraham, and to thy seed after thee the land therein. Thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. 66. Who is Deborah's husband? Lapidoth. Judges 4.4, 4, and Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, she judged Israel at that time. 67. Who rebuked King David for his sin with Bathsheba? Nathan. 2 Samuel 12.15 And Nathan departed unto his house, and the Lord struck the child that Uriah's wife bare unto David, and it was very sick. 68. Who will not have honor in his country, relatives, and house? Prophet Mark 6, 4, But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. 69. Which prophet was sent to anoint Saul and David as kings over Israel? Samuel. 1 Samuel 15, 1. Samuel also said unto Saul, The Lord sent me to anoint thee to be the king. 1 Samuel 16, 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. 70. Who ruled Israel during Amos? Jeroboam, Amos 1.1, 1, 1, the words of Amos who was among the herdmen of Tekoa which he saw concerning Israel in the days of Uzziah king of Judah and in the days of Jeroboam the son of Joash king of Israel two years before the earthquake. 71. Who interpreted Nebuchadnezzar's dream? Daniel, Daniel 2.47, the king Nebuchadnezzar answered unto Daniel and said, Of a truth it is that your God is a God of gods, and a Lord of kings, and a revealer of secrets, seeing thou couldst reveal this secret. 72. Who did John the Baptist proclaim he was unworthy to untie his shoelaces? Christ. John 1 27 he Jesus it is whom co who coming after me John the Baptist is preferred before me whose shoes latch it I am not worthy to unloose 73 what is the new name of Daniel in Babylon Belteshazzar Daniel 1.7, Unto whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names, for he gave unto Daniel the name Belteshazzar, and to Hananiah of Shadrach, and to Mishael of Meshach, and to Azariah of Abednego. 74. Who made Samuel cry all night? Saul. 1 Samuel 15, 10 through 11. Then came the word of the Lord unto Samuel, saying, It repenteth me that I have set up Saul to be king, for he is turned back from following me, and hath not performed my commandments. And it grieved Samuel, and he cried unto the Lord all night. 75. How did Elijah and Elisha influence religion and politics in Israel? Miracles. In 1st and 2nd Kings, Elijah and Elisha performed miracles like raising the dead, healing the sick, and bringing drought. Their actions in ancient Israel stirred fear. 76. Who talks about a flying scroll? Zechariah. Zechariah 5.1. Then I, Zechariah, turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying scroll. 
77. What is the promise to the to those who wait upon the Lord? Strength. Isaiah 40, 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. 78. Who fell from heaven as mentioned in Isaiah? Lucifer. Isaiah 14, 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? 79. Isaiah's prophecy gives how many names to Jesus? Isaiah 9 6 For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. 80 What does Hosea emphasize holds more value than burnt offerings? Knowledge of God. Hosea 6.6 6, For I desired mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. And that's all the questions we have for today. So remember, put, tell us how you did down below, then share this with your friends and family, and we'll see you in the next one.